One of my earliest memories as a child is attending a Christmas service with my mother here at Mount Gilead Church in Buckingham Mountain. There were people of all ages and races singing and worshiping together. You could just feel the spirit of goodwill. Of course, I didn't know then that Mount Gilead was an important way station for slaves seeking freedom along the Underground Railroad. Or that my career in television would lead me to directing a feature film about that very subject called The North Star. Hello, there, friend. How many of you are there? At least two, ma'am. Get in the back and hide yourself under the hay. In fact, it wasn't until I started researching locations for the North Star that I realized how much underground railroad activity took place in Bucks County and how many traces of it you can still see. You can't talk about the fight against slavery without talking about Harriet Tubman. After she herself escaped, she made no fewer than 13 missions back to the South and helped over 70 people to freedom, using a series of anti-slavery safe houses and activists that we know today as the Underground Railroad. In 2003, the African American Historical and Culture Society of Bucks County built this striking memorial of her in Lyons Park in Bristol, located right on the Delaware River. It's a beautiful place to visit and reflect on the sacrifices and contributions made by this icon of American heroism and courage. Some who were fleeing their bondage and heading to freedom had help along the way. And among the most active of abolitionists were the Quaker communities in this part of Pennsylvania. There are over a dozen beautiful Quaker meeting houses in Bucks County, like this one in Buckingham which was built in the 1700s and is on the National Register of Historic Places. You can see these meeting houses by attending an event like the Farmer's Market, a Peace Fair, or one of the speaking programs that are often held at these houses. And the Sunday meetings, which are open to everyone, are a moving spiritual experience no matter what your religious affiliation. Because the activity of the Underground Railroad were closely guarded secrets, there is very little documented evidence about so much of it, but many places like the Wedgwood Inn in New Hope present a strong case. When they were doing renovations in 1999, the innkeeper discovered this tunnel, leading from an old part of the building to an escape hatch in a nearby gazebo. The proximity of the hatch to Aquaton Creek provided a stealthy way to make it to the Delaware Canal. Now, if you base yourself here for your explorations, you'll be comfortable and well taken care of, and the friendly innkeeper might even give you a tour of that mysterious tunnel. There are many private homes throughout the county with well-documented connections to the Underground Railroad. This house in Newtown was owned by Joseph O. Archambault, a dentist, innkeeper, and postmaster who is well known for helping freedom seekers. And in Quakertown, this stone house belonged to Richard Moore, a local potter who was noted for his hospitality and who was said to have helped over 600 people find their way to freedom. The more you learn about a place's history, the more you can appreciate it. And what I've learned and realized is that the Underground Railroad was not just a series of tunnels and safe houses but a network of people with different religious and ethnic backgrounds, all working together in the pursuit of freedom. That's important to remember these days, and after all my travels across this country, it took me coming back here to Bucks County to realize and learn a lesson. But that's how life goes. It's a journey that sometimes comes full circle and puts you right back where you started. But hopefully this time with more insight and wisdom. My name is Thomas K. Phillips, and Bucks County is my home.